how to refine the vertical asymptotes and also the horizontal asymptotes of rational functions. In this video, we'll do four examples on just that. This is the first one, and let's get started with the vertical asymptote first. Well, when we are doing this, you have to keep in mind that we must do it after we have reduced the rational function. But since there's nothing to reduce, we can just go ahead and get to work. Because the idea is that we have to make sure we have a non-zero over zero in order to get a vertical asymptote. Well, in that case, we can just look at the bottom right here. Then we can just make x plus 8 equals 0, and then we can solve for x, and x is just going to be negative 8, and then we are done. That's it. Now, for the horizontal asymptote, this is what we do. First, we write f of x as y, and let's just write that down again, 2x minus 3 over x plus 8. We just have to care about the highest power of x on the top, which is this term right here and then the highest power of x on the bottom, which is this term right here. And you see, x and x cancel, which just have y is equal to 2. And that is it. So this is the precalculus way to do it, nice and sweet. And you can do this after you reduce where the original doesn't matter. But for the vertical asymptote, you must do it after you have reduced the rational function. Because if you take a look at part b, well, here we have x squared minus 1, and that on the bottom, we can actually factor things out and cancel things out. On the top here, we get x minus 1 times x plus 1. On the bottom, we get 2x plus 1 times x plus 1. If you just set the denominator equal 0 right away, then you get two vertical asymptotes, right? But that's not, that's not true. You don't have two vertical asymptotes. Why? Because notice that x plus 1, x plus 1, they cancel. If you make this equal 0, that means x is equal to negative 1. But the thing is that when x is negative 1, the top is also going to be you know, negative 1 right here. So it's going to be 0 here. You get 0 over 0. That does not give you a vertical asymptote. That will only give you an open circle on the curve. So that's not what we want. Only for the domain. You look at the original and you make the denominator not equal to zero. That's how you find the domain. But for the vertical asymptote, do it, right? Do that after you have reduced the rational function. So we are already looking at x minus 1 over 2x plus 1. All right, this shouldn't be too bad now because now we see vertical asymptote is just the denominator here, make it equal to zero, 2x plus 1, put it to be zero. Solve it, you get x is equal to negative one half. Done. And for the horizontal asymptote, well, you can do it with the original or you can do it with the reduced version. Do it this with this one. Doesn't really matter. Anyway, let's try y. Let's just do it with the original. Why not? It really doesn't matter. x squared plus 3x plus 1. You see? This over that, you get 1 over 2. So y is equal to positive 1 over 2. And then we are done. If you do with the reduced version, you still get 1 over 2. Same thing. Okay, for this one right here, we can once again factor things out and cancel things out. So let's see. On the top, if we factor it, we get x minus 1 times x minus 2. On the bottom, if we factor it, we get x minus 2 times x minus 2. And as we can see, we can cancel this and that out. So in fact, this right here is equal to x minus 1 over x minus 2. And we know x cannot be equal to 2 right here. Even though we have you know, these two factors, this one was canceled it, but we still have another one. All right, so let's just work with this this time. For the vertical asymptote, put this to be 0. So we get x minus 2 is equal to 0, meaning x is equal to 2. And then we are done. And then for the horizontal asymptote, let me just write it with y equals. Earlier I used the original, this one I used the reduced version. x minus 1 over x minus 2. And you just put this down so you can do some work. And you see this and that, which is reduced to 1. y is equal to 1, and then you are done. If you really want, you can actually just put on the answer right here. That's totally OK, Yeah, because it's pretty clear. Yeah, don't you like pre-calculus way to do these kind of things? Yeah. OK, for d, on the top we cannot cancel, we cannot factor anything out. On the bottom, if you factor it, yes, nothing can be canceled. So um, let's just get started with this. We cannot reduce this already, okay? Okay, for d right here, notice that we cannot factor anything out on the top. On the bottom, 
there's no x plus 5 factor, so I'm just going to work with this. Here we go. Vertical asymptote. I'm going to write this right here, make it equal 0. So we have 3x squared plus 7x plus 2 equals 0. And I will show you guys the tic-tac-toe way to factor this. Go ahead and draw the tic-tac-toe like this. What times 4 give us 3x squared? Well, 3x times x. That's good, right? And then what times 4 give us 2? 1 and 2. And let me tell you, I'm going to put on 1 right here and 2 right here. Because 3x times 2 gives us 6x. And then 1 times x gives us x. 6x plus x gives us 7x. So this checks. This means I have this as a factor. 3x plus 1. And then the other one is x plus 2. And of course make equal 0. When you make this equal 0, we know x is equal to negative 1 over 3. When we make this equal to 0, we know x is equal to negative 2. So here, we actually have 2 vertical asymptotes. Because once again, you see that there's nothing that we can cancel, unlike the one that we have right here. Okay, now for the horizontal asymptote, let me write that down. y is equal to x plus 5 over, on the bottom we have 3x squared, and then plus 7x plus 2. On the top, we care about this. On the bottom, we want to focus on that. But the answer is not 1 third, because the degree, the power here is 1, but here is 2. So we still have an x left, right, after you canceled it. Remember, if the x is still on the bottom, then this right here will give you 0. y is equal to 0. And the idea is that if x gets large, if x goes to infinity and negative infinity, you get 1 over infinity. 1 divided by a huge number, you approach 0, meaning that that's the horizontal asymptote. So again, you get 1 over 3x but after you reduce, but you have the x on the bottom, it's 0. If the degree on the bottom is bigger, you'll get 0. Earlier, if the degrees are the same, you just cancel them out. What if the degree on the top is bigger? Then you don't have a horizontal asymptote. If this was x to the third power, then none. No horizontal asymptote. But anyway, this right here is it. Hopefully it helps. Check out my next video for other problems.